Over just a few years, the battery in our smartphones have changed a lot. That means those old tips to stretch our battery life just aren't as true as they were once. Now, before telling someone to disable Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, let's shed some light on those old myths, shall we? Myth number one, you should completely discharge your battery before plugging it in. Batteries used to be stupid. Older batteries would forget their full capacity, so they wouldn't be able to fully charge again. So you'd have to let the battery discharge all the way to 0% before charging it again. That's not the case anymore and it hasn't been for a long time. Smartphones today have lithium ion batteries which don't suffer from any memory problems of older nickel cadmium and nickel metal hybrid batteries. Similarly, lithium ion batteries count charges differently than older batteries, so you don't need to worry about discharging it completely. Here's how Apple explains it, and while they reference their batteries, the rules apply to any lithium ion batteries. However, more and more batteries have digital calibration tools built into them. These smart batteries supposedly reduce the need to calibrate. Though it's still recommended when your battery behaves oddly, it's time to calibrate. You don't want to do this too often though. It's actually bad for lithium-ion batteries to be regularly drained all the way to 0%. That counts as a full recharge cycle, which in case it decreases the battery's total life. Now on to myth number two. Charging your battery overnight kills the long-term battery life. In the same sense as calibrating your battery, it used to be possible to ruin a battery by overcharging. When you plugged in your phone for a long period, older lithium-ion batteries could overheat, which in turn just reduces the charge capacity and long-term life of the battery. But these days, chargers and smartphones are smart enough to prevent these from happening. However, leaving your phone plugged in all the time can still lead to degradation. If you want to extend the life of your battery, you want to keep it in between 40 to 80% all the time. That sounds great on paper, but it's pretty ridiculous for someone living in the modern world. The good news is leaving it plugged in overnight while you sleep, even if it's close to full, doesn't negatively affect as much as it used to. Now, myth number three, closing apps improves battery life. We like to think of our smartphones as a little computers, and we treat them like so anyway. On our laptop, having a bunch of apps open at once, especially the ones that connect to the internet, drains your battery and so it makes sense that your smartphone would work the same way. But that's not how smartphones work. In case of iOS, apps do not stay open the same way they do on a computer. When you leave an app, it's frozen, doesn't do anything and doesn't require any resources. Closing them does nothing to your battery, except it costs CPU power and battery to close everything. Former Genius Bar technician Scotty Loveless explains with this statement. And the same thing is true for Android. Some people swear by task killers to close apps and improve battery life. The problem is they don't work and do more harm than good. And while some apps may close, if you remove them from the multitasking drawer, many won't. It's all about how the apps were coded. Now, instead of closing apps all the time, it's better to turn off the features that are draining the battery life, like notifications or data calls in the background. I will leave a link in the description describing how to restrict app usage. Now, apps can only kill your battery if they're poorly programmed or extremely demanding. Now, smartphones also now have great metrics so you can track which apps are doing so. On Android, you can head to settings, battery to see which apps are using most power. On iOS, head to settings, battery to see similar information. Now on to myth number four. You should only use official chargers with your phone. Now, smartphone manufacturers want you to use the official charger that comes with your phone. Look at any box or manual and they'll often say it's highly recommended. However, while you shouldn't use cheap, sketchy knockoffs or counterfeit chargers, affordable off-brand chargers are fine. Now, modern USB chargers are standardized. And while you see different charge time results with different chargers, that doesn't affect the battery itself at all. Modern smartphone batteries are smart enough to only use maximum amount of power it can handle, regardless of what is being supplied. 
So there is no danger of overheating as long as the charger itself is providing the correct current. Now on to myth number 5. Disabling Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and location services saves a ton of battery life. It seems very likely that the new features added to smartphones, whether it's background app refresh in iOS or Google Now on Tap on Android, is a serious threat to your smartphone's battery life. Now while that may be true, you don't have to go through and toggle every new thing to off. Nor is there any use in disabling basic system services like Bluetooth or Wi-Fi just to save battery. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth used to draw a lot of power, but nowadays they draw so little that toggling them on and off does little for your battery life anyway. As for the location services, let the apps that need it use it. But make sure you don't have apps that are using your location all the time for no reason. That constant use will still kill your battery life, but thankfully you usually have the option to limit location services to only being active when the app is open. So these were some of the revolving myths that have been going around for ages. I hope this video helped to clear some of your misconceptions. Do let us know in the comment section if you have any other queries that need some clearing. And as always, thank you for watching and you guys have a great day.